is my studio. So this is where I'll be shooting for the foreseeable future. There will be some changes made over the next few months. Um, but this is where we'll be chatting. So, welcome. Uh, let's see, what are we discussing today? It's pretty late. We just came from a blogger event. Um, my cousin and I, Sonia, the other half of the Ruby Rules, have been working quite a bit over the last few days to get our blog up to snuff for 2015. And we attended a blogger event today in downtown Washington, D.C. for a new blogger launching her blog, The Classic Mom. So please check her out, classicmom.com. DC. Classicmomdc.com. So check her out. Um, it's a wonderful blog. She's a fashion blogger, but she's also a mother. And so she shows you how to have affordable classic pieces in your wardrobe that take you from running around with the kids to a night out on the town or any business meetings that you may have in between. Check her out. It was an awesome, awesome event. And I want to thank... Fits on me for inviting us. That's another blogger. Fitsonme.com is her, is her uh, blog. So check her out as well. But we want to thank her for inviting us because it was an awesome event. We met some great, great people. And it was, uh, we had a blast. So what I wanted to come to talk to you today about, however, was Birch Box. I did get my birch box. This is the January birch box. Those that get birch box probably already know the pink box. So this is for January. I wanted to open it. I've been holding on to this for a little over a week and I'm ready to open it and see what's in there. So I'm going to open it for you guys. So let's dig in. I don't have, I need to get my equipment set up here, like a, a knife and all that good stuff so I can open the box. So I'm going to try to do the best I can with just my hands. All right, we are making progress here. So, so the box is very pretty. It's purple. A purple lid. Let's do this. And it has the confetti um, base. Very pretty. And let's see what coupon we have this month. So this is not a coupon. Anyway, I guess that was only a December thing for Christmas time, the Gap coupon. But I have some nice looking things in here. So I have Neil Geo RGE, or I'm sorry, Neil George Shampoo. So this is shampoo from Neil George. I don't use shampoo as a naturalista, so you guys probably know, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this. However, it's a shampoo, miniature size. Maybe I'll give it to the hubby. He can use it. As well as Neil George conditioner. Now this I can use. We use lots and lots of conditioner for the old other naturalistas out there. So this will get some use. And then I have white almond uh, perlier, white almond almond butter, which I do like butters. Um, of the sort so I really do like butters so let's see I make a butter body butter that I use in place of lotion uh, it's a shea butter mi mixture so this let's see how thick this is so this is the consistency it's kind of thick it's not really a butter it's more like lotion. It's slightly thicker than a running lotion, but it's definitely not as thick as a butter. And it smells like almonds. It was pretty good. And then lastly, I have let's 
in here. A few additional items. One is the Balance Me Extra Care Wonder Eye Cream. So it soothes, brightens, and lifts. Good for all skin types. So I'll try this under the eyes and see what happens. And then we also have the Coastal Sense Reveal Palette Sampler in the color Latte, which I definitely use. Um, if it's eyeshadows, then I'll use those. And this is these are nice browns, neutral brown colors. Looks like there are two mattes and two shimmers. I don't know if you can see that, but we will try this as well. So those are the contents of the birch box. This is my second birch box, and to be honest, I don't know how I feel about it. I mean, some of the products, obviously, if I get a box of four to five products, I would expect at least three of them for me to get some significant use out of. Uh, last birch box, I got two things that I may use, and mostly I use the hand lotions because really the other things in there I don't necessarily use the shampoos or the sunscreens or the face peels so I don't really use them I think I should open my horizons and try and use them before I say I don't like them or not so I am going to make a conscious effort to use what I can out of the birch boxes obviously since I'm already paying for it and hopefully um, I will learn to appreciate some of the items in there so that's it. That's all I wanted to talk about today. Just want to introduce the studio for you guys and let you see where we'll be and to open the birch box. So until next time, I will talk to you guys soon.